You use it on a daily basis and you probably have a very good understanding of the iPhone's keyboard features. However, there are likely some very useful features available that you might not be aware of. I'm confident that you'll discover at least a few new things about your iPhone's keyboard. With that being said, here are 24 mind-blowing keyboard tricks. Before emojis became popular, there were emoticons, which is short for emotion icons. Your iPhone's keyboard has a secret emoticon feature waiting to be unlocked. Unless you're Japanese and have a Japanese keyboard installed, you probably have never seen or heard of the built-in emoticon keyboard. Here's how you install it. All you need to do is open the Settings app and navigate to General, Keyboard, Keyboards and Add New Keyboard. Search for the Japanese keyboard and select both the Kana and Romaji options. Once selected, tap on Done and that's it. Now that your new keyboard is set up, open any app that you can type in. Long press the globe icon in the bottom left corner and select one of the Japanese keyboards. You can also keep tapping the globe icon until you find the correct keyboard. To access the emoticons on the Kana keyboard, click on the emoticon key and then tap on the drop down button at the top to expand the complete list of emoticons. To access the emoticons on the Romaji keyboard, tap on the 1, 2, 3 button first and then the emoticon key. Tap on the drop down button at the top to expand the complete list of emoticons. And that's all there is to it. Go ahead and amaze your friends with these fun and entertaining emoticons. You probably already know that iMessage displays effects, such as fireworks and balloons when you send specific messages. However, do you know the keywords needed to activate these effects? I'll help you out. Here's a list of keywords that trigger iMessage effects. Feel free to pause or rewind the video if it is moving too quickly. You can also manually send bubble and screen effects by long pressing the send button. You can toggle between bubble and screen at the top of the send with effect page. For the bubble effects, you can send messages with the slam effect, loud effect, gentle effect, and invisible ink effect, while the screen effects are echo, spotlight, balloons, confetti, love, lasers, fireworks, and celebration. I'd say feel free to surprise your friends with these fun effects. When you're multitasking and need to write something down or respond to a friend, typing with just one hand can be a little tricky. Thankfully, there's a useful feature called one-handed mode that can make typing with one hand much easier. All you need to do is to long press the globe icon. Besides the list of installed keyboards you can switch to, you'll also see keyboard icons for left, center, and right orientation. This works no matter which language you're using, and it's really simple. If you use your iPhone with your left hand, choose the left orientation. If you use your iPhone with your right hand, choose the right orientation. I use the text replacement feature all the time. You can set up a text replacement you can use to enter a word or phrase by typing just a few characters. Here's the thing with keyboard shortcuts. They're not limited to words only. You can also use them for links, emojis, emoticons, paragraphs, emails, and more. Open the Settings app and go to General, Keyboard, Text Replacement, and create keyboard shortcuts from there. Instead of typing, you can also use the Swipe to Type feature, which lets you swipe from letter to letter. It might initially feel a bit unfamiliar, but once you've got the hang of it, you'll find your typing is faster and more fluid. If you want to enable the Swipe to Type feature, go to Settings, General, Keyboard, and turn on Swipe to Type. After that, simply swipe from one letter to another until you've spelled the entire word. Then, release your finger and see the word pop up on the screen. You might get your swipes wrong sometimes. When this happens, tap on the delete button and try again. The words you type are stored in the keyboard's cache. This makes it easier to access them later with auto-correction. However, the keyboard sometimes remembers words that you didn't intend to save, including outright typing mistakes. If you have problems with bad autocorrect or you just want to start with a clean slate, you have the option to clear the keyboard cache. To do this, open settings and go to General, Transfer or Reset iPhone, Reset, Reset Keyboard Dictionary, and type in your passcode to confirm. Smart typing is a handy feature to prevent any typing mistakes. It will switch to window zoom when a keyboard appears. Once you're typing, the text will be zoomed but not the keyboard. To enable smart typing, open settings and go to accessibility, zoom, and toggle follow focus and smart typing on. Did you know your iPhone has a hidden trackpad? Long press the spacebar until the keys disappear, then drag and drop your cursor to where you need it. I always use this feature when I make a typo or need to change a word or two. You can try this out by going to the comment section under this video. Just type something like how helpful this video is and long press the spacebar until the keys disappear. There's a very simple way to highlight a word or paragraph. 
Double press on a word to select that word, and triple press to select the paragraph. If you want to highlight certain text, long press to activate the hidden trackpad, tap another part of the keyboard with a different finger, then drag your finger that placed the cursor left, right, up, or down to highlight the text. You already know that you can tap the category buttons to jump to specific sections, but did you know that you can also scroll through all emojis? To browse emojis more quickly, simply long press any category button to reveal the hidden scroll bar, then swipe left or right to navigate through the emojis. This feature is pretty well known already, but just in case you didn't know, you can replace words with emojis. When you're done typing your message, open up the emoji keyboard. The moment you do this, iOS will highlight any words that match an emoji. Tap on the word and then pick the emoji to replace it with. If you come across a word you're unfamiliar with, you can instantly look up its definition without exiting the app you're currently using. Just select the word and tap on the Look Up button. This feature is also available when reading a book in the Books app, using Safari, or in almost any other app where word selection is possible. If you're afraid that using auto-correction will mess up your message, you can enable Speak Auto Text. This feature automatically speaks auto-corrections and auto-capitalizations. This is how it works. Your iPhone audibly tells you the suggested auto-corrections and auto-capitalization before you hit the next key to enter it. This allows you to hold off and retype something or choose another suggestion without needing to fully focus on your keyboard. Open Settings and go to Accessibility, Spoken Content, Typing Feedback, and enable Speak Auto Text. Make sure you already have auto capitalization and auto correction enabled in Settings, General, Keyboard, and at least one or the other should be on to use Speak Auto Text. There are several ways to undo and redo typing, but one of the easiest ways to do so is through a simple gesture. If you mistyped a word or accidentally deleted a text, you can use your three fingers and swipe from right to left to undo it. And to redo the action, use the same gesture but swipe from left to right. You can do this multiple times. Nothing is more frustrating when the keyboard obstructs your view of the screen. Luckily, there's a very easy way to hide the keyboard. You can hide the keyboard by swiping it down from just above the top of the keyboard to see more of the screen behind it. And to unhide the keyboard, you just tap back in the text field. You probably already know this one, but just in case you don't, you can lock in capital letters when you type. Usually you tap the shift key and then tap the letter you want to capitalize, but in case you want to capitalize all letters, you can quickly double tap the shift key. This will activate the caps lock, allowing you to type in uppercase without pressing the shift key for each letter. Accent marks are the various little dots and squiggles which are written above, below, or on top of certain letters of the alphabet to indicate something about their pronunciation. Most letters on the keyboard do not have any accent marks when you long press them. There are even more special characters. Press the 1, 2, 3 and hashtag plus equal buttons to access numbers, punctuation marks, and common symbols. You can also long press certain other keys for even more options. If you want to delete a word or a sentence, you can hit the delete key a couple of times until it's all gone. But what do you do when you want to delete a whole paragraph? To delete a whole paragraph, simply press and hold the delete key. It will remove a few characters at first, then proceed to delete words and groups of words until everything is gone. However, you can also triple tap on a word to select the entire paragraph and then press the delete key. This is probably a more efficient method. We already know that you can use voice dictation to write sentences by speaking them. To write sentences using voice dictation, Simply tap on the microphone icon located on the lower right side of the keyboard screen and start speaking your thoughts. But did you know that this also works for emojis? For emojis, just say the name followed by emoji like cat emoji or heart emoji. There's a nice shortcut to quickly add a period key. By enabling the period shortcut, you can quickly insert a period by just double tapping the space bar. Open the settings app and go to general keyboards and toggle on the period shortcut. This easy trick can effectively maintain your typing flow without any interruptions, which is ideal when you're in the zone and don't want to stop to change keyboards for punctuation. Every time you type on your keyboard, you'll see a pop-up called Character Preview. This pop-up shows you the letter you're about to type. If you dislike the pop-up Character Preview and want to improve your experience, then you can disable this option by going to Settings, General, Keyboard, and toggle off Character Preview. Typing numbers or symbols on your keyboard often requires some back and forth. What do I mean by this? 
Typically, you'd tap the 1-2-3 button to switch to the numeric and symbols keyboard, select your desired character, and then tap the ABC button to return back to the letter keyboard. But there's a much simpler method to do this without switching keyboards all the time. All you need to do is to tap and hold the 1-2-3 button. Without lifting your finger, slide it to the number or symbol you need, and then, once you release your finger, the keyboard automatically switches back to the letters. This quick swipe method lets you easily insert your desired numbers and symbols, making typing faster and just more efficient. Last but not least, you have the option to install third-party keyboards. The built-in keyboard of the iPhone may not meet the preferences of all users. Some users may want more variety and flexibility due to its limited features. There's a wide variety of third-party keyboards available for iPhone, each offering its own unique features. The Microsoft SwiftKey keyboard includes a number row, whereas Gboard offers extensive dictionaries for different languages. And Flexi features larger keys and swipe options for quicker typing. There's also the TypeWise keyboard, which has a unique take on key shapes. Grammarly, on the other hand, reviews spelling, grammar, punctuation, clarity, engagement, and delivery mistakes. Lastly, Color Keyboard enables you to personalize your entire keyboard. After installing your desired keyboard app, open Settings, then navigate to General, Keyboard, Keyboards. Next, select Add New Keyboard and locate the keyboard you wish to add. Remember to grant Allow Full Access to your newly added keyboard by clicking on its name, otherwise it won't work. And there you go. These were 24 useful keyboard tricks. Let me know about the usefulness of this video, and if there is enough interest, I'll make more videos like it.